Hi everybody, my name is Christopher Fadnelli, and in this video we're going to be going over how to implement soft sore roads into a vehicle model. Let's get started. So I have a UTV model already loaded in. What we need to do first is we need to go over where some example property files are for soft soil roads and soft soil tire models. So if we go to our file explorer, go to our installation directory, we go to HW desktop, we go to HW, MDL, auto entities, properties, and then we go down to tires. There's one folder called Altair Soft Soil. There's two folders called Soil Library and Tire Library. We have a bunch of example files here. And if I open one up, we can go into it. So it starts off the MDI header. So the road type, then the units, model type, parameters, and then there are properties for the common soil properties and then properties for the tire soil properties. And we also use these for track soil properties. So the next few lines are all that. Then we go down, we can see the road increment for the graphics, the obstacles that are in this file and how they are set up. I'm going to go to another file. It's the same file, but I just edited it with a roof obstacle that I'll be using for this example. And how I did that, I went to Altair Help and I found the page where it talks about the obstacles. It is well-defined on how to implement your own soft soil obstacles. There are uh, multiple predefined events. You can also bring in your own PCD files to make your own row properties. Now let's look over the tire library. So if I open that up in the Altair soft soil, I'm going to open one up in Notepad. And we can see it's a small file. It just has the units, the model type, the dimensions, unload radius with aspect ratio, some parameters for the vertical stiffness, load rolling resistance, and you can also apply initial velocity. What I always do when I'm editing these files, I always copy the soft soil library in the installation directory, and I paste that folder into my local directory. So I can edit those files, make new ones, and reuse them. So now let's go over how to implement the roads. So we go to road tools, we open up a file, it's going to open up to my local directory. I'm going to load in the road property file that I was just going over. I'm going to let it save to the same location that I got the file from. I'm going to say OK, and I'm at the road generated. Let me just quickly readjust the window. Now I need to align the road with the front tire road reference marker. So I go to the road graphic, switch the marker from global frame, go to the auto tires system, and select the road reference marker front. It could be either left or right. It's going to be the same spot. Now our road is aligned to the bottom of our tires. Now what I need to do is update the tire files. I'm going to start with the front. I'm going to go to the NT editor and I'm going to swap out the tire property file from a rigid to a soft soil file. Now I'm going to swap out the road property file for the file that we just load the graphic in with the road tools. Now I'm going to do the same for the rear tire. I can also check the tire property file and road property file in the NT editor. So I select view and edit. I can just quickly verify that I'm using the correct road property file. I see the roof obstacle. I'm good to go. I now need to add an event, so I go to NT Browser, go to Events, the car and truck, and I'm just going to use the Road Course Drive event. I'm going to select Create, let that load in for a second, and in the NT Editor, I'm going to swap out the units for Velocity Profile from Model to Miles Per Hour, and I'm just going to set the Velocity to 15 miles per hour. I'm going to leave the end time as the same. And then I need to change the road settings from a flat event to the auto tires. Now if that all set up, I can run the event. I'm just going to make sure that my run name is correct. I have run offline. I have the analysis correct. I'm going to hit run. 
I'm going to let Motion Solve analyze the model. This will take a few minutes, so I will be back when the model is solved. All right, so Motion Solve has finished analyzing the model. Let's go and view the results. I want to view the sinkage of the soft soil road. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select contour. And for the result type, I'm going to select elastic sinkage. And then I'm going to select the road. I'm going to select apply. And now I'm going to view the animation. All right, now we can see the vehicle coming into contact with the soft soil road, as well as the elastic sinkage of the road due to the tires. This was a demo on how to implement soft soil roads. Thank you and have a good day.